is it that Alton Gas wants to do that made you get involved? Um, pretty much when I heard that they were going to dump the brine into the river, one of their most sacred and delicate rivers in all of Mi'kma'ki. I found that pretty disturbing to harm not just the fish itself, but the plants, the, the aquatic life. Through our research, we came to find out, wow, it's against the law. It's against the Fisheries Act to dump anything that can alter fish habitat. And we end up, um, you know, writing to the Environment Minister, Margaret Miller, and they wouldn't respond to our letter. We just started to realize, like, how long it takes, even if you write one letter. And so we wanted to kind of back up our letters, and so we decided to start doing Freedom of Information. And they ended up coming back to us and saying it would be $2,000. So it's just like, it's, it's going back and forth, it's sticking at it, because they hope that you give up. Especially when the environment Nova Scotia would change our questions, you know, like, yeah. so that they don't get sued with the answer from the How First Nations mean? chiefs. Did you say, like, how, what the is shore. the question? We posed the question just simply to Nova Scotia Environment. We said, would the brine be considered a release of a deleterious substance into a body of water that fish frequent? And they came back to us, I think it was two and a half months later, and they came back with the question and it said, is the brine considered deleterious substance with Environment Canada? That was the switch question. Yeah. And so they said, no comment, you'll have to ask Environment that's Canada. That's not the question. Though. That's not the question. It's from Margaret Miller, essentially, in her yeah. office. Yeah, yeah. Which yes. I think is good to know. Yeah, and I remember at the time we, we got the answers and we were like, oh my gosh, why did we put Environment Canada in there? And then when we went to start to print out our binder, we were like, no, we asked the question correct. So we went back and we said, okay, we'll follow through with what you said. So we asked Environment Canada. And then all of a sudden you see Environment Canada come out and go, hold up, um, yeah, it's against the Fisheries Act. So we formed this email to the Environment Minister. Again, we reached out to Environment Canada based on your advice and spoke with Regional Manager at Atlantic Compliance Enforcement Canada. He informed us that the brine is a deleterious substance. He further informed us that the company's current plan to discharge the brine into the channel and river is in fact a release of a deleterious substance and is not in compliance with federal regulations. He also advised us that the company was made aware that the current design was not in compliance with federal regulations. This makes the industrial approval that the province has issued also not in compliance with federal regulations. Has the minister been made aware of this compliance issue by Nova Scotia Environment staff? Is it not the minister's normal protocol to suspend industrial approvals when it is brought to their attention that a project is not in compliance with federal or provincial regulations? And <laughs> they haven't responded to those two simple questions. I think that's one of the jobs the environment minister Margaret Miller was supposed to do was, you know, suspend the industrial approval if there was any wrongdoing to begin with and that's kind of what led us on to all this information. And so now because corporations, this provincial federal government seem to be catering to Alton Gas at all expenses, they are now getting a review to rewrite the Federal Fisheries Act. <laughs> that that is... That's a cover-up if you ask me, you know, there's something, something not right about that. So.